Alright guys, I had a lot of questions and I know I have talked plenty of shit on E85 because it's not that great in our area and it's way too hard to get. It's easier to just tune up a car on race gas, honestly. I just don't see the huge difference in this area. It's hard to explain to people, but E85 in this area is $3.55 a gallon, which is more than diesel. And 93 octane is like $3. Sometimes it's below that like 260 I mean gas has been fluctuating quite a bit I don't know about you guys but 250 to three dollars for 93 87 is like two dollars the rest of the country gets e85 for like a dollar fifty average a couple of my friends show me pictures it's a dollar twenty a dollar thirty where they are well fuck them <laughs> the thing I don't like is you need a gigantic fuel system to make the same amount of power uh, other limitations including the, the the content changes so much one thing that bothered me about it so much before but the MS3, the MS2 has it too, but you need to use the inputs and outputs usually. So the MS3 has so many, you know, I'll try not to get too long-winded here, but there's a dedicated input for flex fuel on MS3. And I just bought a, this is a Continental brand name. There's the part number. Can you see it without the fucking glare? Sorry about cursing. I'm going to try to curb my cursing. I get people asking and they say that they like to watch with their children and I feel bad. <laughs> I want to curse them out. And then they say they're watching with their kids and I I, uh, I don't want to spew obscenities at them after that point. I feel bad. Anyway, I got this off eBay from a guy in Texas for like 50 bucks. And then this is a little pigtail you can buy that goes on like a Impala, I think. And you just, it, it goes, it's a body mount, so it goes between here and like six inches long. It has another ridiculous pigtail on it. So you just cut the other pigtail off and wire this into your ECU. I'll give you guys a web link in the video to show you where there's a website that tells you all about the sensor, where to get the pigtail, where to buy the sensor retail, even though eBay is much cheaper. I spent about 67 bucks total, and it's on the return line here, and it works great. It honestly works awesome. You wire this bitch in, which I think it's, it is 12 volts, so I did 12 volts key on. The one is a ground and the one's a signal wire. And then all you do is you come over here to the MS3. I'll show you how this works. Do do, connect, see up here? I added that, ethanol percentage, 56%. It's live, so it changes all the time, and then actually it tells you fuel temp, too. To my understanding, the ethanol content runs over frequency-based, and then this is pulse width. So, a lot of people are concerned about fuel temperature with ethanol or gasoline, and ethanol content both together. So what's cool is you get both of those. All you need to do is go into fuel settings, and there's a giant thing here. Fuel settings, flex sensor settings. You just, basically, I just enabled it. It was disabled and I enabled it. And then I, you know, you, you pick which sensor input wire, flex input, and then temperature input, you also change it to the flex fuel sensor. And then these settings were in here standard. They were already in there. The timing calculations were a little funny, but this stuff right here, I could screenshot this and show you guys. This is perfect. I put pump gas in here and I started the car and in that video, you can see I'm trickling ethanol in on top of the pump gas. And as the percentage is going up, it's automatically adding fuel and running fine. It runs the same. It's incredible. The other day I had E30 in it and I had five gallons left. I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll fill up. Sorry, I cursed. <laughs> and I added some E85 in and it went to 56% after I drove away. But the cool thing is, is I just keyed the car over, drove away and I didn't change my fuel map, I didn't turn on correction, I didn't do anything. I just drove and it drove fine. It doesn't matter what percentage you have in. Now what's cool is, is if you tune the car on E85, you can leave these numbers here go, and then over here, timing addition, you know, this means straight gasoline, and this means straight ethanol. So if you tune the car on E85 and you're worried about gasoline, you can take timing out here when it goes back to gasoline or vice versa. You could say you have 15 degrees of 15 pounds of boost in your timing table. And if you add ethanol, you can add two degrees. So if it's closing in on 100%, it'll add two. So if you type in three there and you get 50% ethanol, it's gonna add one and a half degrees. It makes a lot of sense, it's easy that way. 
And you can do all sorts of funny things like that. You can even control the boost. And here, you can change the two target tables for your boost when you have the computer controlling that. And you can go into a thing here and you can blend the boost curve. And you can change your sensor input to change it by flex percentage. Now this might go over a lot of people's heads, but the car will automatically change the amount of boost you're running by ethanol content. And you can change the scale to do whatever you want in between. It's, it may be slightly confusing because it's so customizable, but that's, I mean, that's just part of it. It's pretty neat that you can do all of that. And I was, I was extremely impressed with the out of the box settings. You just fire it and run it and drive it. Everything's fine. It's cool. So a lot of people want to know their content or tune by it or tell the ECU how to run automatically based off of content. It was $67 and some spare wire I had to wire it into the ECU. It's on the gray connector back there and it's pin number eight. You can also look it up in the MS3 manual. It comes with the MS3 gold box. But it couldn't be any simpler. So I had a lot of people asking. They saw my videos, I kept talking about content, and then they say, Matt, you hate ethanol, and yes, I do hate ethanol, but I'm doing this from a research perspective and curiosity, and I wanna see if Pennsylvania's E85 pumps even go over 60%. <laughs> As just a quality reference. So that is really it. It was very simple. I just used a key on 12 volts to that guy, grounded it in the trunk. The ground is like uh, right here. For this guy right in the trunk and it couldn't be any simpler really it was very easy i think it's cool you can see the temperature a lot of people have like a small fuel cellar they're worried about boiling their fuel and whatnot i hope i answered everything ask me anything else about the e85 stuff if you can think of it i haven't had to do i mean my turbo blew up so what i really wanted to do was on low boost push the timing around on gasoline and then move the timing around on straight ethanol and see if there actually were any gains this time depending on E85 if the E85 would theoretically quote unquote take more timing like race gas or something like that haven't gotten to do that yet can't dispel or disprove any of that so I hope this was informative so far Cypress Hill in the background cheering me on but that's that's the gist of it I hope you can understand it it just measures, uh, what, what actually I said, I said once before, this measures alcohol content in the gas. And people corrected me and they said it measures absence of water or gas. It's, it's, it's opposite of what you would think. It doesn't actually measure alcohol content. It does something crazy with the frequency. So they corrected me. I'm like, well, it reports ethanol content to the ECU. Sorry, I wasn't politically correct on that statement, but it doesn't actually sense exactly how much ethanol is in. It senses the absence of water or gasoline and then figures there's that much ethanol. Really, it doesn't fucking matter at all. The car runs fine. You can slam in E. I had like three gallons or five gallons of ethanol 30 mix with pump gas, put in straight E85, ran fine. I could empty this and go put pump gas in gasoline it would run fine i could put straight e in mix them what's cool is it doesn't matter at all you don't have to change your tune up you don't have to reset anything it just runs the same so i think that's one of the coolest features if you guys are out in cornland you can just stop anywhere and get any gas and just drive it doesn't matter and then you can go to the track and drain it and put in known good ethanol if you might have and then you can see if your ethanol you have is actually known good by the content sensor. You can just turn on the fuel pump or you can go into test mode and just run the fuel pump and it'll just circulate and you'll be able to see right away if it's over 70% or so. And then what's really cool is if you go in there and bother with controlling your boost amount by how much alcohol content is in the car. All that stuff's really cool. If you have that set up correctly, you can basically figure out how much E85 percentage you have by how much boost you're running. I mean, you can make it like a light switch where if it's over 70%, it'll run 20 pounds. If it's under 70%, it'll run 10 pounds. So that's super easy. Or you can scale it and say on gasoline, run 10 pounds. And on straight E85, 70 plus percent, 
run 20 pounds and you can have it run just a linear scale in between so if your car is running 15 pounds you know it's like e50 e45 so i hope i went into enough depth there showing the content sensor and abilities and again let me know if i missed anything but i had all that shoot into my head but that's it have fun